here at Jack Dawes Castle with John Joe O'Neill, just a few days off the Grand National. And John Joe, it's all about more of that. Um, he's been a horse who I think must have tested your towering intellect and patience down the years, because it's what, three years now since he won a World Hurdle? Yeah, it's a long time really, but uh, he's a very good horse and was a very good horse. Um, he's had wind problems, as everybody knows really. So what have you done to, the, to tweak that? Well, the, his first operation didn't really work, and uh, we, did, we did another one, and that seems to work well. Um, he was, he lost blood vessels before that, um, but he hasn't done that one. for a bit, has he? Hasn't done that at all this year, thank God, really. So we're delighted with that. And he's in good form. And he ran a bit disappointing in the um, Huntingdon race. Um, but you started him off, he was disappointed this year in the Bet Victor when he was all yeah. rage and favourite. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, it, well, that was when we felt at home he was working really well, and we felt that the wind didn't, the operation hadn't worked mm. properly. And when we had a look, and it hadn't, unfortunately, mm -hmm. so we redone it. And um, once we redone it, um, then he ran disappointing as hunting. Yeah. And after that, I thought he'd lost his way then, and he'd lost his confidence in himself really, because he never travelled through the race. Mm. And you know, I know it was two and a half, but you know, he 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 would pick him up and carry him when he'd be. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So uh, that was disappointing. And then we went to Ireland to uh, the Lexus, to the Lexus, and uh, just to see where we were going, really. And he mm. was running a crack on Mark Road, mm. and uh, he was jumping and travelling and going like the old zest that he used to have, you know. So uh, and then he slipped up at last, which was a bit of a pity. But then, you know, he that's the way it goes. We had two of them the same day. The other fellow on Saturday earlier on. But that's the what way did it goes. Mark say after? Did he say, look, this horse is still a horse? Where you've been having your doubts? Yeah, he did. Uh, he 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 said exactly as it looked. You know that the old horse was back, travelling, loving life, and and jumping and carrying him into the race really well. And he's not saying he'd have won the race or anything like that, but he would have been there or mm. thereabouts, and that was plenty good enough for us at the time. You know, so we're very. So pleased. then you behind sizing John in the Irish Gold Cup. And uh, behind him again in the Gold Cup, unfortunately. <laughs> but what about the Gold Cup run here? I mean, that wasn't a bad run at all. No, it was a good run. Um, he didn't travel as well as I'd liked him to have, like he did in Ireland, really. And um, it was a shade disappointing the way he went through the race, I felt, anyway. He jumped OK and everything, but that's probably, you know, he's not the horse he used to be, you know. Um, so really, when you think about it, that's probably the horse we want for the National, you know. He's He's a little bit slower. Hopefully, he'll get the trip. We mm. really don't know. He's reasonably a good jumper, and um, he has a lovely attitude, lovely. He's very house. laid back, yeah. wander around the place. So the old day, gentleman at his club. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. The day is not going to bother him. No. So he and he, you know, if he, if if everything goes according to plan, he turns up on the day. He's got a right chance. And what's his schedule been like <laughs> since Shelton? He obviously had a week off or whatever, and. Do you step yeah. him up? He did. When did he do his last big piece? Last week? He hasn't done much no. work really because no. he's fairly good, clean winded horse really. And no matter how much you do at home, he just he only just does what he has to do. So he's in great form and you know the lad riding him out. Mm. Flo knows him well and Alan Burry and mm. they ride in between him and they you know they're very happy with him, so I'm happy. And there was a big buzz for this horse before the Gold Cup, as there was for Manella Rocco on the quad who was second. What's the feeling in the yard ahead of the national on Saturday? Oh, we're very confident, you know. Um, we're very happy to have a runner in number one, but we're very happy with the runner because we think, I think he'll suit the race and everything going according to plan, he's, he's probably the classiest horse in the race, really, so we're very hopeful. With the classiest trainer? Of course. Yeah, same <laughs> more. Don't you think so? Cheers, Cheers Alison. <laughs>